The next core set in the TCG introduces a new overpowered fusion engine called the Azamina. This engine, providing you have some access to the Diabellstar cards, puts an Omni Negate fusion monster on the board. And combined with the new Phantom of You Bell and Light and Darkness Dragon Lord, Branded is going to become a huge, powerful fusion pile in Rage of the Abyss. So in this video, we're going to be looking at the new deck list, the ultimate fusion pile. And of course, we're going to be looking at how the deck actually plays and the insane board you don't want to miss. So like the video, subscribe to the channel and sit back, relax and enjoy. Let's jump into the deck list. So here we go. This is the ultimate fusion pile post Rage of the Abyss, which is the next core set in the TCG. There's probably not going to be any banlist influence on this deck, except for if Branded Fusion gets hit in some way. But other than that, there's no reason to play Gimmick Puppet Nightmare here or Albion the Sanctifier Dragon just because we have two other fusions we need to be putting in our deck. So let's go over the new cards, the Azamina cards. Then we're going to be looking at the rest of the deck and how that works. And of course, later, we're going to be looking at how the deck actually plays and the maximum board that it can put out. And the board is absolutely incredible. So let's go over the new Azamina card. So of course, the Abelstar, you're aware it can set a Sinful Spoil spell and trap from your deck. Which one is that going to be? That's going to be Sinful Spoil's Deception. It's a new continuous spell card from the Azamina family in Rage of the Abyss. You contribute one monster from your hand or field, add one Azamina card from your deck to your hand. If a monster is sent to you, your opponent's graveyard and you control an Azamina monster, you can make your opponent lose 1500 life points. And if you do, you gain just a bonus, um, you know, effect. This card is not going to stay on the field. During the end phase of this card is in your graveyard because it was sent there from the spell and trap zone this turn. While face up, you can set it. So, another end phase effect to the Brandon family. This card is the juice because it searches for Sacred Azamina, which reveals an Azamina fusion monster from your extract and sends a Sinful Spoils card, this one, from your field or hand to the graveyard for every four levels the revealed monster has. And then it special summons it and it's considered a fusion summon. So, how does the combo actually work? Dio Bellstar. Sets Deception, Deception activates, send the Diabell Star, get Azamina, Sacred Azamina, sends the Sinful Spoils Deception, and summon the Azamina Rhea Silvera, which normally requires a fusion uh, of uh, an Illusion Monster and a Light Spellcaster, which you can do easily in this deck with Cartesia, but the main thing here is that when your opponent activates a card or effect, quick effect, you can tribute this card, negate that effect. So... This is insane, right? It's probably on par with um, Phantom of Ubel, kind of like even better. Um, this also has an effect when it's destroyed. It adds a Sinful Spoils Trap from your deck to your hand and any dam da battle damage from your Azamina monsters. Other than this, is doubled. But this is basically access to the Abelstar Wanted means Deception, means Sacred Azamina, means Silvera. That's it. One card... Omni Negate before Branded Fusion. Let's go over the deck list, see what we're playing with because we are playing two other fusion engines. One Adlib because Puppet is not here. Extremely valuable to summon fusion monsters that are banished. Um, just an incredibly good card. Three Albion because it's really the best. Alubur, I cut it to two in my 50 card, but since this is 60, we need more starters. Um, two Cartesia, one Serenir, one Tragedy, three Diabell Star. Again, in 60, you probably want three. Normally, you can play with maybe two. Let's see if this gets impacted. Uh, it could be just to creep Azamina a little bit. Three Albas, two Quam, one Kit. Very important, insane card. Ubel Engine. We have done a video about this before. Nightmare Throne means an additional negate for Ash Blossom. Phantom of Ubel, right? Now... Come Rage of the Abyss, we're going to have a new Dominus card, Dominus Impulse, that a lot of decks can run, which basically is a trap hand trap that can negate Branded Fusion. So it's good that we're getting Azamina because this can negate Ash, but it cannot negate the trap. So we're going to see how Nightmare Throne works in the replay. Nightmare Throne pops you a Spirit of Ubel, summons Ubel, shuffle both, get a negate for Ash. So you open either Diabell Star, Wanted, Nightmare Throne you get a negate for Ash Blossom before anything. 
one Lubelion, two Mercurior because we are playing three Allure, very important, one called by one Sark, three Baron Infusion, one High Spirits. We don't want to draw this necessarily. You just want to search it with Alubur to play around stuff, right? And you can dump it off of Quem to get an extra card during the end phase. Two in red, just because it's 60, there's no harm in seeing this in your hand, can really help play around um, hand traps. One branded lost, one sacred Azamina, one foolish burial, one branded banishment. This card is your quote unquote engine for light and darkness dragon. This is going to be one of three ways, probably the easiest one, in which you can summon light and darkness dragon lord. If you don't know what this card does, right, you you need to check out my recent local chronicles because this card carried me through the tournament. But it's a level 10, so you cannot summon it with Albion or Lubelion. It's a level 10, just remember that. Uh, must be fusion summon, so no bringing it back. But this is basically three Omni Negates, mandatory. Once per chain, if a spell or trap or monster effect is activated, quick effect, this card loses exactly 1,000 attack and defense. If it does, negate the activation. It has 3,400 attack, 3,000 defense, which means this is Light and Darkness Dragon Lord for any card. And um, this card is insane. It adds to your end board three Omni Negates. So three cards from your opponent's hand are likely to be invalidated by this card. Um, so this is why we have Banishment. You'll see it in the replay as well. Three opening, three Dark Ruler because we might need to break a board. We want to go full gas here. Three deployment, which can summon you, I believe. Um, no, it actually can summon you, Bell, because this says you, Bell, monster. So keep that in mind. This needs a specific name. Retribution, three Throne, three Deception, three Wanted, and Branded Sword, which allows you to combo a little bit more versatilely, I suppose. The extra deck here is two Albion, one Silvera, one Furious, one Queritus, one Grand Guignol. Probably could take Queritus out for another Grand Guignol if you want. One Chimera, one Dragon Lord, one Lubelion, two Mirror Jade, one Phantom, one Stapelia, also cuttable in my opinion if you need anything else. One Rinbrum and one Titanic Land. One small thing about the side deck here is this package here. If you're not aware, I think I showed it in one of my videos. I didn't really want to spoil it for my uh, North American friends playing this package in uh, in the Nationals there. But basically, this is a really, really good engine to do stuff on your opponent's board. So Gizmic Uka, if you don't know, pick this up. You, you will probably need it at some point. So if a monster is special summoned from the main deck, you can special summon this card from your hand. And if it's special summoned, you can target a face of monster your opponent controls. And you special summon one monster from your deck with the same attribute with attack and defense that equals each other. So how do you do this? Fiendsmith's Re Requiem summons Fiendsmith uh, Engraver from the deck. You activate this, summon, target Engraver, summon Incredible Ecclesia, which can now tribute itself to summon Fallen of Albaz, which can then fuse on your opponent's turn into anything because you will have a light monster on your opponent's field so you can go into Albion and Amir Jade on your opponent's turn. Technically, if you open this with like Gimmick Puppet Nightmare in today's build, you can do the Puppet Lock instantly. Which is crazy. On turn zero. So, uh, and also Albalenidus, I would highly suggest, if you don't have this, pick this up, but I would really, really suggest if you don't have this in your main, you you probably must have it in your side. I think Tenpai is going to be one of the mo most like impactful decks moving forward. So please keep that in mind. And now for the most exciting part, let's jump into the test hand that I did. And it's absolutely nuts. So let's take a look at the test hand here. Basically, when you have access to an engine, you're going to be able to resolve that combo. And sometimes in this deck, you're going to be opening some engines. Sometimes you won't. I want to show the maximum potential of this deck because there's a lot of copies to get to deception and there's a lot of ways to get to nightmare throne so i want to see like the full full board that this deck can put out and of course the branded engine on its own already does so much so any additional way to help you play through hand traps play through branded fusion is incredible and i want to show you how they all kind of come together so um here we have access to our engines obviously this is what nightmare throne does for you pops the spirit of you bell from the deck summons you bell from the deck Shuffles both, and then you get a Phantom of Ubel, basically. That's it. 
Um, this is a very, very strong engine. This card is really, really good. And obviously you want this before anything else, just to play around any possible hand trap. Branded opening, discarding the Mercurier because we're going to be getting another Mercurier. And this Luber is also going to go, uh, it's going to be put to, it's going to be put to, to good use. So we're going to search Brand Infusion here. Activate the Deception. Now, this is how it works. Deception sends the Aluber here, grabs the Azamina. Azamina activate, reveals the Silvera, sends the Deception for every four level it has, and just Fusion Summons. This is a Fusion Summon of Silvera, which is incredible. You're obviously locked into Fusions, and hey, we have one Omni Negate, one Monster Negate, and we haven't activated Branded Fusion yet, and this is the power of this deck. Branded Fusion sends Lubelion and Albaz, Albion gonna banish the Aluber and the Albaz, gonna discard the additional card in hand, shuffle back two, and summer the Mirror Jade. Now we're gonna tribute the Albion to get the Lubelion. This is actually an important step here. Branded lost on the field. End phase, we get two triggers actually, one from branded cards and one uh, otherwise. We get Albion to set up a copy of branded banishment here, and then the Sinful Spells Deception can set itself. So basically this whole engine and this is something that we, we've been seeing a lot recently, can just recur itself fully every single turn. So this was sent to the graveyard. It sets itself. Azamina can target an Azamina monster, shuffle it into the deck, and then you add this card to your hand, and you bring this back. So let's say this got outed. You get another turn. You basically activate Azamina, shuffle this back, add this to your hand, activate Deception here, and then Sacred Azimina to send it, summon another Silvera. Every single turn. I hate this, but this is the card design right now. So, on our opponent's turn, Branded Banishment can target and summon the Albion here, and then fuse with the Lubelion, one level 8 light, one level 8 dark, both are dragons, to Light and Darkness Dragon Lord. Because you performed a fusion summon, you can activate Branded Lost because this does not negate cards that are already face up. If you read this, if a card spell a trap card or monster effect is activated so this would need to be a spell effect which this does not negate it does not negate cards that are already face up searches for a mercurier so what do we have here we have a banish obviously with mirror jade we have an omni negate we have three omni negates that are mandatory and another monster negate with follow-up basically uh with the the spirit of Ubel on the board and this is it this is kind of the fusion pile Whenever you get into one engine in this deck, you will plus a lot. This is basically the three engines that you have access to. And of course, the one above all of them is just the branded engine, which is so incredibly strong as it is. And just adding these on top of it. And of course, I forgot to mention Mercury, which is another monster in the gate. So these are a lot of interruptions. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Are you liking this type of design? And finally, us in Branded being able to play multiple fusion engines from different deck. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, turn on the bell for more videos like this, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.